Hey guys, it's Eric here, and I'm back with another video game video. So happy to be back. I have something really exciting to talk about today. You guys, I'm sure know about it at this point. It is no secret. A lot of people are talking about it, especially in the gaming world. But now I'm going to talk about it um, and give my opinions on it. And at the same time, I'm going to show you guys how to do an SSD upgrade. And I'm going to use a Silk Systems drive to do it. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the Asus ROG Ally. to get started here's the asus rog ally i just got mine this is the production unit this is the one that everyone buys and i just purchased it it just came today i'm going to open it up and take a look at it and give you guys a hands-on let you know how it feels and whatnot oh man it's beautiful there you go there it is in all of its glory The sticks feel really good. The buttons feel really good. The triggers feel really, really nice. If you guys can see there, they don't travel too much, which is good. The shoulder buttons feel good. They're nice and clicky. Triggers travel, looks, feels like just enough. The back buttons are okay. I've heard people accidentally pushing these. Um, I could totally see that happening. I think it's best to map that to something that it won't matter if you accidentally press it. I absolutely hate D-pads that are just circles. I prefer the plus sign D-pads. Um, that being said, this one doesn't feel bad. It feels like I could use it. It's a lot lighter than I thought it was. I mean, it doesn't feel cheap, but it's. I thought it was gonna be much heavier than this. The sticks feel really good. I'm happy with this. It feels it feels solid, but not too heavy. So that that's great. The first thing that you want to do when you get your ROG Ally is you want to plug it in, you want to power it on, you want to connect it to Wi-Fi, and then you want to do about an hour's worth of software firmware updates. Out of the box, the software experience in this wasn't great, and that's been in, reported in a bunch of different videos, but Asus has already done things to improve that, and those updates take a while. So you want to connect it to Wi-Fi, and then you want to do those updates. I'm going to start those updates because a few of those updates actually make the uh, SSD swap much easier easier and so it's worth it to power it on do the updates and then do the ssd swap so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to power it on i'm going to connect it to my wi-fi and then i'll do the ssd swap and then after i do the ssd swap we're going to install some games and we're going to play those games on the rog ally i'm so pumped for this my brother's got a steam deck um and i didn't buy a steam deck because i was waiting for this it's finally here and i get to hold it in my hands and i'm really really excited about it and i get to put a six systems ssd in here and let me tell you about Silk Systems because they're sponsoring this video. Before I get started, I have to tell you guys about SilkSystemsGaming.com. This is our solid state storage company that we recently started. We've launched some new products recently and I want to tell you about those products. One of the newest products we have over at SilkSystemsGaming.com is this. This is our external NVMe M.2 drive. This operates just as a USB thumb drive would, except for it's got 512 gigabytes of storage and it's USB-C, comes with a USB-C cable and our own custom case here. So this is a nice little portable drive that you can purchase from silksystemsgaming.com. Head on over to the website to check, check those out. Another new product we have is this right here. This is a 2230 NVMe M.2 SSD. Now, if that doesn't mean much to you, all you have to know is that this is a drive that we've developed at Silk Systems that's specifically designed for gaming. More specifically, it's designed for portable gaming, handheld gaming, laptop gaming, even some gaming tablets. This drive 
was designed to go in the Valve Steam Deck as well as the upcoming Asus ROG Ally. It's also compatible with anything that's got an M.2 slot. Um, we're very happy to announce this new product and it's available at SilkSystemsGaming.com. If you want to see a video of this specific drive going into a Valve Steam Deck and how to replace and upgrade the storage in your Steam Deck, go ahead and check out this video. I'll put a link somewhere here for a video by Arcade Adam and it features this drive from Silk Systems. So we're going to go ahead and replace this SSD and we're going to get some games installed and I'll show you how easy that process is. It is pretty easy, especially when you have an iFixit toolkit. This video is not sponsored by them or anything. I just like their tools. They they have really great tools. So let's go ahead and get to replacing this. I'll see if I can get you guys a better angle uh, so you can see what I'm doing. And yeah, let's get it done. So in order to do this, it's pretty easy. There are six screws here, six Phillips head screws that you just wanna remove here on the back. pry tools like that just to kind of split this open as you can see it's already starting to split super easy to do um, I only actually did it a couple times and it already started to come apart so we'll go to the edge here and we'll split this open and there it is instantly comes off super easy actually surprisingly easy and there we go there's the inside here's the back right there and the SSD is right underneath this part right here. And I'll show you what that looks like. There's a Phillips head screw right there. And that's where the SSD is. So if we lift this up, you'll see our little 2230 SSD right there. This is the 512 model. There's the 2230 SSD. And what are we gonna be replacing that with? Well, of course, none other than a Silk Systems SSD. This is a Silk Systems 1TB 2230 SSD. This is a new product we have at SilkSystemsGaming.com. Feel free to head on over to that website, link in the description below if you would like to order one of these for yourself. We have two terabytes coming, but they're still about two months out, I would say. Here's our Silk Systems 2230 SSD that we will be replacing it with. There's also a link in the description below for Arcade Adam's video where he replaced the SSD with the Silk Systems SSD on his Steam Deck, which is a very similar process. There's a retention screw right here that is also a Phillips head screw. So we are just going to remove that and it's a very short screw. All this does is hold the SSD in place. So we're gonna remove that. And then it's as simple as just lifting the SSD up. A lot of times it's safer and better to remove this plug here where the battery is plugged in. You don't necessarily have to do it, but it's, it's good to get used to that. So I'm just gonna use my spudger here and I'm going to remove that plug and we will just unplug the battery. And we're just gonna lift up this SSD. You generally wanna just lift it up a little bit and then pull it out and then it comes right out. There's the SSD. That's a 2230 SSD, 512 terab, or sorry, 512 gigabyte. Let's go ahead and put the new one in. As you can see, it looks very, very similar. The way you put these in, you wanna kind of put it in at a 45 degree angle. And then as you push down, it will slide all the way in place. And the way that you know that it's all the way in place is that it will line up with the screw, screw hole just like that. That's how you know when it's seated properly. And then we can take our little black screw, black retention screw. There we go. And that's how you physically install and replace the SSD in the Asus ROG Ally. Now, the only thing left to do, let's plug the battery back in, and then it's time to put the backpack on. Make sure everything lines up properly. And now it's actually time to do the restoration. From here, you wanna press Y. This gets you into the, the BIOS menu there. And you're gonna go over to advanced and there's an option, the top option there. I know it's difficult to read, but that's ACES Cloud Recovery. So we're gonna go ahead and press A on that. That brings you right here 
this is the the screen that you're going to do the cloud recovery on and we can just tap view policy and we'll check the box and then we'll go to agree and then it's going to start the cloud recovery process this is basically going to reset your unit as if it was brand new it's going to put all that information on the new ssd it's asking here right how cloud recovery we cannot connect to the network it does require wi-fi that's okay we're going to go to next and then it's going to go ahead and search for our networks and i will go ahead and connect to my network here now it's going to check for network information as i said as i was explaining before this is is basically going to bring the Asus ROG Ally as if you had just taken it out of the box only with the new larger uh, SSD inside. We now have one terabyte of storage rather than the 512. We made it to the next step. We're going to go ahead and tap next. I know it's difficult to read what's on the screen. Uh, you can see there's a little progress bar there. This is the part that takes a lot of time. And this is basically restoring Windows, installing all the drivers you need, all the drivers you need that are specific for the Asus ROG Ally. So we will go ahead and let this go through its process. And then I'll show you, uh, I'll verify the storage and everything once it's back into Windows. Again, this can take a while. Um, I believe 45 minutes to an hour. So we're just gonna let it sit. Make sure you have it plugged in so it doesn't die. It's at 2% right now. And I will come back once it's completed. The SSD upgrade is complete. Just to verify, I'll show you the SSD upgrade. You need to make sure that you have the latest BIOS. As of making this video, the latest BIOS is 319 from Asus. Um, and I'll explain more what you have to do to make sure that's updated because that can cause some problems and you can get stuck in a few areas. And I'll show you where those areas are well i'm not going to show you i'll talk you talk to you about them because i'm no longer stuck in those areas so we're in windows right now and i will just show you the free space there is 952 indicating that we have a one terabyte ssd installed so ssd installation and upgrade was successful now those caveats i was talking about this device is really fun the Asus ROG Ally, really fun and really good so far. I've played some games on it. I've installed Diablo 4 on here. I've played Diablo 4. I've also been playing through the new Secret of Mana on Steam. It's not a perfect device. Let me talk about those caveats real quick. So the first one I mentioned was updating the BIOS and make sure you have the latest BIOS. Again, this little icon right here, this blue icon, that's the My Asus icon. So you can tap that and what that'll do is that'll bring up the My Asus app. And that app is gonna be where you can get your drivers for your 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 ROG Ally. But in here, you can also inst uh, download and install the latest BIOS. But the BIOS updates seem to only work one at a time. I believe there were two of them. So what you have to do is you have to download the BIOS, next BIOS update from the one that you have, the one that ships with, and then you have to install it and then you have to restart the device. When you restart the device, it will finish the BIOS installation for that one update. And then you have to start it back up and you have to do all this before you take out the original SSD. Um, and the reason why I say that is because they fixed a lot of bugs in the latest BIOS. You have to restart it, it'll finish up the installation, and then it'll go back into Windows. Then you restart the My Asus app, and you grab the next BIOS update. At the time of making this video, there are two BIOS updates that need to be applied, so you have to do the same process again to get 319. Then what you do is, when you're inside of the, Vi the BIOS, make sure that you have 319, uh, or later, if you're watching this video later. That will ensure that your ASUS cloud recovery will work properly because during the cloud recovery process, if you try to do this with an earlier BIOS, it will get stuck at this checking stage and you'll think it's actually doing something. Occasionally the screen will flicker and you'll think it's actually doing something, but you will sit there for hours and hours and hours and nothing will happen because it's not actually progressing. When you have the correct BIOS, the correctly updated BIOS, that checking part only lasts maybe about 30, 45, five seconds or so um, and then it moves on to the next step the entire cloud recovery process takes about an hour after you do the SSD upgrade. Physical upgrade of the SSD is actually super easy. It's the software stuff that takes a little bit longer, but Asus Cloud Recovery makes it really, really easy um, as long as you have the BIOS updates done. Another tip, another tip that can help you out is uh, because this is a Windows device, 
and Windows is not a perfect OS, by far not a perfect OS, um, you have to deal with Windows bugs. That doesn't mean this is a bad device. It just means that you have to deal with some Windows things that aren't really convenient. One of those things is sometimes the on-screen keyboard does not appear. Sometimes even this little button here on the side, there's a little keyboard button there. Sometimes that button won't operate either. One way you can force the keyboard to show up is you can hold uh, one or both of these back buttons and you can press up on the D-pad and that will force the software keyboard or the on-screen keyboard to show up on the screen. So if you run into an issue where you can't type in your Wi-Fi password or you can't type in something else, that oftentimes will get you unstuck. That being said, there was a portion where I did get stuck and I needed the on-screen keyboard during the recovery process and that also wasn't working. I tried it a couple times and I got stuck in the same area. I finally did it a fourth time and the on-screen keyboard came up and it worked fine. That being said, there's another solution. Although this solution kind of sucks and Aces should fix this, but if you get stuck and you need the keyboard and that shortcut isn't working for you, you can use this port up here. This is a USB-C port. If you've got a USB-C keyboard or a USB-C wireless keyboard, you can just plug that in a physical hardware keyboard and it will let you type. It doesn't appear to matter where you are in the recovery process or anything. This always seems to work and I was able to test this out and it did work. But let me let me show you some gaming on this. Um, not a lot of gaming because there are tons of videos about the gaming on there, but not a lot of videos about running D4 on here. So let's run D4. So I'm at a really weird angle here, but I'm hoping you guys can actually see what that looks like. This is Diablo 4, and I'm just in town right now, and it is running actually really, really well. Um, you know, it doesn't run as well as it does on my gaming PC, and I haven't messed with any of the graphical settings or anything like that. I just, uh, just wanted to show you how it runs, and uh, we'll see if we can get some gameplay here. There we go, teleport going on. Let's get some, let's see if we can fight some people. But it's actually running really, really well. I mean, it's totally playable. I need time. Okay. Ah! I died. Nice. And I hit level 44. Anyway. That's Diablo 4 on the ROG Ally. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and it was useful for you. Again, it's surprisingly easy to do the SSD upgrade on this. Remember, please check out SilkSystemsGaming.com, link in the description below if you wanna get a one terabyte SSD uh, of your own for your Asus ROG Alley or for your Steam Deck. And if you have any questions, please uh, comment below and I do my best to try to answer all those questions. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. I really love making gaming videos as well. as, And I do have some merchandise and whatnot. That's coming very, very soon and I'm really, really excited excited about that. Again, thank you for watching and happy gaming.